Hey everyone, in this video I'll teach you how to obtain the Lucid Nightmare mount. This is a fairly hard mount to get and it might take you a few hours, so I recommend you watch the whole video before starting so you know what you're getting into. In order to get this mount, you'll have to interact with 7 inconspicuous nodes. These are interactable items that are scattered all across Azeroth and there will be some sort of puzzle that you need to complete to interact with each of the seven nodes. The first node is in Dalaran from Legion in the Broken Isles. To get there you can use your Dalaran Hearthstone or the portal to Azuna from your capital city even fly there. Once you're in Dalaran, go to the Curiosities and More shop right here and if you go up the stairs you'll find the first note on a table. If you right click it, a message should pop up and if you see that message that means that you have completed this note. Um, you can also use the following macro, it will be in the description, to check on your progress. The second note is in the Aldoar raid. To get there you have to go to Novrend, so you can use the portal to Daravan Novrend from your capital city. Then fly to the Storm Peaks and the Aldoar raid will be at the north of the Storm Peaks. Once you enter the raid, you'll have to talk to Bran Bronzebeard to start the raid. And then you can make your way all the way to the Flame Leviathan boss. You should kill the mobs that are near the door, then there will be a little bit of RP and the boss will spawn. You can kill it very easily. Then keep going forward all the way to the XT002 Deconstructor boss. At that point you will be in a zone called the Scrapyard. And if you go to the northwest corner of the Scrapyard, you will find a pile of junk with a lever on top of it. If you interact with that lever, a grid, a 20x20 20 20 grid of lights will appear on the ground. Whenever you interact with one of these lights, it will turn green. And basically you have to make the lights turn green to make this cog pattern that you can see on your screen. If you kill the deconstructor boss and his corpse is in the lights, you can very simply go loot the chest that is in the stairs and his corpse will instantly disappear. Once you've completed the pattern, all the lights should disappear and you will be able to find the second note on the ground. Interact with it, then make sure it's validated with that macro and you can then move on to the third note. The third note is inside the Temple of Ankiraj Raid, not the ruins of Ankiraj, the Temple of Ankiraj is what you're going for. Um, you can get there easily by using the portal to Oldham from your capital city, then flying to Southern Silithus. Once you are in the raid, you can just clear through it all. There's only one boss that you really need to kill, and that is the Twin Emperor's boss, or the, the door won't open. And then you just keep going all the way to the final boss, Katun. And once you are at the final boss, you have to go around it to a secret room and if you go up the stairs in that secret room you will find a mind lava. Once you interact with it, it will launch a puzzle where you have to click on two different elements and try to make three same elements line up and what you want to do here is try to line up five of the brains and that will instantly complete the minigame and the note will appear. It has been reported that some players have completed this game without actually lining up 5 brains but just by playing for around 20 to 30 minutes. So you are definitely going to get this eventually but always aim to line up the 5 brains as it will be quicker. Remember to interact with the note, you should see a message pop up. And then you are heading to Deep Home to find the 4th note. Before you go to Deep Home, you'll need to buy a Shadow Weave mask from the auction house. Make sure it's in your bags, then use your capital city portal to Deep Home. Once you're in Deep Home, you'll need to find to this cavern, then enter the cavern. Be careful because there is a worm and if you hit that worm, it will take you back all the way to the beginning. And once you make your way through, you will need to interact with the Dark Fisher. 
Once you interact with the fissure, you will be sent into a cave. And in that cave, you see some sort of a chair with a skull on it. And if you equip the Shadow Weave mask, you'll be able to interact with that skull and another node will appear. Interact with that node and then you can use your half stone to get out of the cave. For the fifth node, we are heading to Gnomergan. If you are Alliance, you can use the portal to Borrelus, then, then from there use the portal to Ironforge. And if you are Horde, you can use the Zeppelin to Stranglethorn Vale. And once you are in the Gromgol base in Stranglethorn Vale, you will be able to find a teleporter to Gnomergan. Once you are in Gnomergan, you need to go straight forward, then jump down in the Hall of Gears, then follow this route until you find a room with 10 consoles. This is how you can solve the console puzzle. When you interact with the console, you'll see two things. The first thing you'll see is you'll be able to see what number the console is set at. They will all start at 1, and the point of this puzzle is you'll have to set each console to a specific number. The second thing you'll see is that you have two options, either to go up or down. Going up means that the number of the console will increase by 1, and going down means the number will decrease by 1. You have to set the consoles in this order to these numbers 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 7, 6, 5, 9, 7. I'll leave that in the description. And basically, that means that for the first console, you basically do nothing because it's already set at 1. The first console is the one that is the leftmost. And for the last console, you have to set it at 7, which means that you'll have to press the up button a bunch of times. And you basically do that with all the different consoles, and once you're done, a note will appear on the ground. The sixth note is in Valshara. You can find Valshara in the Broken Isles, which means you can use your Dalaran Halfstone and then fly there. Fly to this location, and in this little house, you will find an interactable item on the left, and when you click it, uh, another puzzle will pop up where you have to entangle some threads. So you have to click two balls to swap them out. And once a thread is untangled, it will become blue. And so you have to make every thread become blue. You also have to zoom in with your camera if you want to see the puzzle properly. And be careful because some of the balls can be quite hard to click sometimes find it was a little bit buggy, so this might take you some time. For the seventh note, we are heading to Kunlai Summit, and this is by far the hardest step in getting the Lucid Nightmare mount. Head to Kunlai Summit in Pandaria, to this location, and you will find a cave filled with some mogu. Inside the cave, there is an urn that you can interact with, and when you interact with it, you will be launched into the Endless Halls maze. The Endless Halls maze is much harder to complete than it looks, so here is how it works. The maze is an 8x8 grid of rooms. Each room has up to 4 exits, and by taking an exit, you will be faded into the next room. In some rooms, you will find either a lit up torch or a rune on the table. The goal in this is to find, let's say, the blue torch, to click it, you will gain a debuff, and then to bring the debuff to the blue rune. Once you click the blue rune with the blue debuff, the, the rune will disappear, and you have to do that for five different colors. The hard thing here is that it is very hard to map the maze, because if you reach an edge, you will be teleported to another random edge without knowing. The maze is also random for each player and it changes every single day. If you log out, you'll be teleported back to the first room. So that's how the maze works, but here are some strategies and tools that you can use to solve this. One strategy you can use is just running around randomly and hoping that you'll get lucky. This, you know, it might take you five minutes, but it might also take you three hours, so it's up to you if you want to try that strategy. 
The strategy I personally used was to do some mapping. For that, I used the website endlessmap.info. It's a website where you can track all the rooms and the exits and whether or not there is a rune or a torch. And what you need to know here is that your goal is not to map the entire maze. You just need to know where a torch is and where its corresponding rune is. So what I did is I just ran randomly until I found a rune and then I just kept running randomly until I found its corresponding torch. And from there I was able to pick up the torch and make my way back to the rune because I had used the website to map everything. In my opinion this is the best strategy but if you don't want to do that you can just run randomly and hope for the best. This took me around 3 hours to complete and remember that if you stay AFK for more than 30 minutes you'll get logged out and you will start all over again. Even if you get frustrated remember that you can do this and even if it takes time you will get this mount eventually. Once you have completed all five runes, you just need to take any exit from the room that you are in right now and that will send you to another room where you can find a note just at the middle. Interact with that note and that was the last note. So now you can go claim your Lucid Nightmare mount. The final step in your Lucid Nightmare journey will take place in Deadwind Pass. Deadwind Pass is a zone that is very close to Stormwind if you're Lions, and it's also quite close to Strangerthorn Vale if you are Horde. Then you'll need to head to this location, enter the crypt, and then just follow my path all the way to the Lucid Nightmare Mount. Eventually you'll find the treasure chest, interact with it, and the Lucid Nightmare Mount will be in it. Congratulations, you've just earned one of the hardest mounts to get in World of Warcraft. If you'd like to see the written guide for this or more awesome gaming guides, I recommend you check out GamingHero.io. If you have any questions, you can share those in the comments and I hope you have a great day.